So for a while now, I've been studying Unreal Engine 5, and about a month ago, I challenged myself to make a VR game. Now, this was a stupid idea for two reasons. One, I had never worked on a VR project before, and I didn't know how different it was going to be. Two, I also wanted to work on the game for less than 24 hours. That doesn't mean I had a day to work on it, that just means that I couldn't work on the project for more than a total of 24 hours. So I could work on it like an hour or two one day, and three hours the next day, just so long as I didn't spend more than 24. Anyway, let's begin with where I actually started recording the development, which was, uh, oh no. Okay, never mind, let's start with my first recording actually in VR, and pray that I explain what the game is well enough. Okay, before my PC explodes, I need to show you the game. Um, okay, I didn't- I should have probably tested this to make sure that that actually would sit on the ground. Why is that not sitting on the ground? Shit. <laughs> you can see where my desk is. But yeah, you can pick up all these stuff, so that works well. So, let's, uh, let's talk you through this. Um, Gary, please glue down this text to prevent thievery. Lol, no. So if you go up to it, you can pick it up and everything. <laughs> you go over here, you notice that these hats you can't pick up are uh, glued down to prevent thievery. Fire extinguishers, glued in to prevent thievery. Of course, you don't want people stealing your extinguishers. You go behind the desk here, you got a tower and a monitor. Glued in to prevent thievery. JK, lol, I'm too lazy to make it grabbable. All of these hats and stuff are grabbable, so that's cool. You can, like, throw them around and stuff. There's other stuff over here that's grabbable. There's, like, this little bag. There's also this till over here. Hats, £10 clothes 15 pounds bags 20 pounds if you come in and scan it you can keep scanning things and it'll keep going through scan in all of these clothes to see welcome to the mall big smiley face just don't worry about that door for now you can't go for it anyway you may have noticed this thing if you were extremely astute shit Okay, can I grab it from here? Yes, I can. Okay, if you pick up this uh, glitchy cube and then scan it in, you may notice something happen. So let's see what happens when we scan in this cube. Oh no. Uh, maybe I have to click this button. Oh, okay. Ignore this. <laughs> there you go. We've got error. Press B to toggle flashlight. Ignore the menu entirely. So now that we've got this flashlight, we can walk around here again. Oh, the happy face has turned to sad. And, oh, what's this? The door's open. Oh, there's a lot of frowny faces. Oh god. Oh, uh, hi. Hello. Ah, there's a there's a key here. No, don't click restart. <sighs> Alright, let's try that again. I've actually fixed some things now. The cube isn't in the ground, it's actually just here now. And I've also gotten rid of that uh menu that keeps popping up, so it should work better now. Oh yeah. This is, and this is what I've added. Crust customer announcement. Could all guests please head to the exit? Except for you. Yes, you. The one with the stupid looking haircut and horrible looking outfit. You need to keep searching for new clothes because, oh my. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. You can hear that's the point where I was going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to make this a comedy game. I'm going to make it like really funny. And then in the middle of it somewhere, I just went, you know, fuck it. I'm going to turn it into a horror game. <laughs> and, and then I, I, I just thought that was funny. So I kept it in anyway. But yeah, you can also scan in all these head things. Let's just get back to where we were. Let's scan it in. Oh no. Oh, there's the flashlight. Oh my god, that's so cool! Okay, this is the thing that I've not tested yet. I haven't tested this key. Can we grab the key? This is a massive key. I need to shrink this down. I didn't realize how big it was gonna be. Let's go over here to the door. Can we actually- will the door animation work? Okay, let's- let's try it. Nope! Didn't work at all! Okay, we gotta fix that. There's also a glitch, which I, I am going to fix. You can literally just walk through the door. <laughs> it should work now if I pick up the key. In three, two, one. <laughs> uh, gotta fix that. Okay, third tries the charm. Yeah, look at that! That's such a smooth door animation. I haven't actually added so that you can actually walk in there yet. Oh yeah, that's what my scene looks like. But uh, yeah, that actually works. Okay, so now we just have to- Now we just have to put more stuff in, make it so that it's more creepy and stuff. I need to make the key a bit smaller, and yeah, that should be everything. And I think then I'll have to work on the jump scare, but yeah, let me do that. Okay, so between recordings, here are some of the things I did. I made this hanging person at the end of the room, and yeah, it does actually hang, which is awful. I filled my stuff into the room, so here's all of that in 6.3 seconds. I needed more music and sound effects for the game, so I took to YouTube. And then I started working on the chase bit. I wanted this long corridor where a monster would chase you down it and you'd have to outrun it. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I wanted to add a chase scene with teleporting controls. That's just weird. Another thing I did was that I decided I wanted a handheld flashlight instead of it just coming from my face. So here's me modeling that. And then I immediately decided it wasn't good enough and made a new one.
Oh yeah, you can you can literally trigger the flashlight when it's not in your hand. So you could literally throw it anywhere and then just trigger it. That could be a tactic. I bet you 50% of the people that play this game aren't, aren't even going to find the flashlight. They're just going to be like, oh, this game's so dark, I can't see anything. I bet you, but I still can't be asked to fix it. It's taking me way too long on just this alone. Put the key in. All right, let's see. Can I actually beat the chase? Beat the chaser? Nope, definitely not. And the chase music isn't fucking playing. If you do manage to outrun it though, then I did this ending room. It looks so shit. I've upped the time, so hopefully it should be possible now. Oh God, it's coming. Oh God, he's coming. <sighs> that is actually kind of intense if the music fucking works. Okay, that kind of works, you know. Here I started working on the jump scare using an asset I found in the Epic Games Marketplace and oh my god, it looks so scuffed. Test this jump scare. Do it this time. Fucking hell. Well, something's happening. This could be the last test that I ever have to do because the game might be this finished. And by finished, I mean I can't be asked to work on this shitty game anymore. It's like, it's kind of getting to that point where I'm getting bored of making it and I kind of want to just like either move on to something else or just stop oh, entirely. The game is like nowhere near optimized. Like there's so many glitches that I know exist. Like what the fuck is going on there? But I, I simply just don't have the time to go around and fix them. So I'm just going to hope that no one, you know, does that. My fucking monitor is right there. I can't reach because my monitor is in the way. Fuck's sake. God, I suck at my own game. Do this. Scan you. Like, literally, the game completely relies on you taking the flashlight everywhere and also knowing what the button is. <laughs> so, and also about 50% of the time the jump scare doesn't work. So, <laughs> very well optimized game. Professional game developer here. Here we go. Here's a chase scene. Ah! Outrun it. Outrun it. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Jesus. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I gave up. The jump scare was completely broken, music wasn't playing, there were so many bugs and glitches that I just thought it's not worth continuing. Or did I? Part two for 100 likes and I'll finish it. <laughs>